Hive Muskoka has been open since last August. We've only been open during the pandemic. So I realized right away um, with my background in risk management and health and safety, safety um, that I needed to follow and exceed all the COVID guidelines that we've had. I've been through four lockdowns. One of them, I remained open legally under the Ontario Disabilities Act. So, and, and to be honest, I really did see, I think with a lot of us that passports were gonna come down. We've been talking about them for months. Um, and in terms of how they've made the decision with certain businesses being required to do them versus others, um, I don't make the law. But as a business, um, I'm legally obligated. It's not even obligated. If I do not follow the law, mm -hmm. I will be fined. And that doesn't stand in line with how Hive Muskoka has been. We've exceeded compliance. The clients that come to Hive, the personal training clients, the class members, the gym users, the program facilitators, because we run a lot of community programming out of here also. Um, we've been doing this since day one. So it really wasn't, it hasn't been an issue or a concern. It's just been, hey, could you validate this for me? It's been fine. 90% uh, of the people that I have come into direct contact with We've had great conversations. Not everybody has been vaccinated, um, but if they're coming through my door, as of yesterday at 6 a.m., they are double vaccinated or with a valid medical exemption as well. It's the people who have reached out to me on social media who haven't been members of my gym, who have never set foot in this gym, who have never reached out to me directly, um, have been the most interesting. And I'd like to be as positive as possible and think that perhaps they're not being heard elsewhere. They see me as a community advocate with somebody that does like to listen and hear and do things. And they want me to do something for them that it's not a choice. It is the law that I have vaccine passports in my facility. So I guess, what is it you're hearing from these people, Fiona? What, uh, you know, and is it, is it negativity towards you? Is it just negativity overall? What is the messaging that you're getting? Well, Overwhelming, um, I'm receiving, or I have received, um, I've made the decision to block a lot of this as well. Um, I have probably received between eight and 12 texts or messages per week since Doug Ford made that announcement a few weeks ago, asking me if I'm going to do what Doug Ford has asked us to do. And my reply to that is always, it's the law. We as a gym and our industry, because I can only speak to the gym industry, right? As a small business owner, mm -hmm. I know restaurants are involved too. Um, we're not being asked, we're being told. And we are being told consequences are in place if we don't follow this law. So there's a bit of bewilderment when people approach me and people have approached me in restaurants. They've approached me at my son's school when I've gone to pick up my child and said, oh, are you going to look the other way when I come in? No. Are you going to pay my fine? Well, that's really not fair for you to ask me that. Mm -hmm. But you're asking me to break the law for you. Um, vaccination is a choice. And following the vaccine passport for my business at the current times, because mandates are, of course, always reviewed. And if things change, I'll be the first one to be involved with that, with a big old smile, um, but it's the law. And I am following the law. This is a duty of um, easy rescue. It's a public health measure that's being put in collectively as a collective duty as a society that we need to work through this. And it's the law. And I don't know why I'm getting, I have been getting grief. Um, I did a social media post uh, the other day and I had people, um, be, and I'm also Jewish, and I had people send me gas chamber references, mm -hmm. right? Um, and in no way is that acceptable. In no way is that 
I mean, it's appalling. And that's in my community. That's in my community. That's in your community, Jane. And it wouldn't be the first reference. It's obnoxious. Um, and when I hear about, there are a lot number of Facebook groups as well um, that are listing out the businesses that are following the law. And that's a concern too, because nobody has, everyone has the right to choose. Everyone has the right to come in through my doors, but if they come in through my doors, I follow the law. And this is what the expectations are. If there's a medical exemption, of course I openly support that. And I will continue to follow mandates and guidelines as I have. I work with the health unit directly and I have been since day one. And if people come and point fingers at me and name call, I'm not the person. It would be our political leaders. Yeah. Before I go to the next question I have, I just want to affirm that not being of Jewish heritage, I am absolutely disgusted by these comparisons to uh, the Holocaust and, and things like that. Thank uh, you. It's, it's a disgusting, uh, disgusting yes. behavior for anybody to bring that up. So I just want to affirm that with you. And I feel the same way as you about that. I'm sorry that you have to deal with, with that type of comparison because there is no comparison there. No. And it's hard to have a conversation with somebody who would send something like that and then expect to have like a legitimately intelligent conversation mm -hmm. about where they're feeling this and it just it's a shutout right and it's I like to think that I'm very approachable and I love to have conversations and the more difficult conversations the better but I can't have a conversation about debating whether or not I can follow the law. You know, I have a quick question about your employees. Now, obviously, this mandate in terms of uh, patrons coming in, they have to be vaccinated, but employees yeah. do not at this point. Um, a lot of businesses are looking at making that mandatory. Uh, there are obviously mandatory testings being done for employees, but what are your thoughts on that? Um, personally, as a gym owner, would you look towards that, that mandated vaccine for your employees as well? Well, isn't, isn't that a tough question? Because I think it really does. Uh, I've heard the discussion about, you know, if somebody's serving me in a restaurant and they're not vaccinated, how is that fair? And mm -hmm. I think a lot of everything that's happening in this pandemic, I think is globally not fair, right? So it's, um, but what I can do is certainly control and mitigate the risk and safety in my facility, um, which is what I mandated to do pandemic or not. I am liable if I don't have a facility that's safe, engaging as a workplace and also as somewhere where people come in to purchase goods and services. Um, as it happens, my staff are all double vaccinated. Um, we are doing personal training. We're doing classes. We do personal training in long-term care facilities where double vaccination was a requirement months and months and months ago. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been fortunate and I just, everybody coming through my door has to be double vaccinated or with a medical exemption. I, that is what I've had to do. And my personal opinion about vaccination or not, um, I'm a, it's a business. So I follow the rules of the business and I don't bring personal into this, which is why it's so bewildering when people do attack me or they bring up things about me, whatever, true or not, um, it's vicious. Mm -hmm. And I, it's the viciousness bewilders me. And, and I would say as well, if anyone wants to have a conversation with me about this, please reach out to me. I'm out there, please do. But if you're going, I can't debate rules and I won't be name called. And I'm not gonna name call you. It's a respect, it's a mutual respect. And I would expect that from you, you would expect that from me. So we can meet in the middle there, but if you're going to harass me and bully me in public, bully me in private, indirectly bully me through social media, I don't think that's a conversation, that's a confrontation. And that's not solving anything, is it? 